Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing okay. Today I'm excited to share this topic with you and this topic is how to get started with blogging in 2020. Now I'm excited to talk about this topic because things are actually starting to work for me and I would like to share those tips and what I've done in my blogging journey to make it work. So the first thing is you need to choose a niche. A niche is very important because this is something that you want to be known for. So let's say you start talking about maybe relationships. You want to be the go-to person in that niche. So you have to create your content around that particular niche. And the niches that I found that really work are health, wealth and relationships. So you can talk about dieting, fitness. If you have an area of expertise or you're really good in some sort of area around these three, uh, these three categories, this is definitely a good way to get started with that. But this doesn't mean that any other areas or subjects do not work. For example, I've seen people succeeding really well with gardening, baking, painting. So there's a lot that you can really talk about. But these three that I've mentioned, wealth, health, and relationships, they're almost like a guarantee that you'll make money in those areas. You just need to find enough topics to talk about, which takes me to the next stage. So once you've chosen your niche, what you need to do is to make a long list of topics that you could talk about. The reason why it's important to do this is because you want to make sure that there's enough information around that topic for you to be talking about on a continuous basis. So, all right, so moving on to the next one. This one here is also very, very crucial in this process because this is a make or break situation. So you want to choose a platform, a social media platform. This could be either YouTube, it could be Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, you need to master one platform. Now, in my case, I work with YouTube. That's my main one because all my content is searchable. So sometimes when people search for certain topics, they can find all my videos in the search results. Now, you may be really good with uh, Facebook as well because Facebook is also great because you can actually have groups. So in your groups, you can advertise in your groups, you can be active in your groups, doing some lives and so on. So, you, you, it's, so it's very important to actually have a social media platform that you specialize in. Instagram is also very good. So let's say you're into baking or you're into fitness, you can record very short videos as your content, which then you can share with your audience. So creating content is actually very, very, very important. Now you may have noticed that I haven't uh, spoken about the writing part. Now this is also great if you can write articles because these can be found by Google when uh, people search for certain topics. And uh, this is an advanced stage, but at a later stage in this series, I'll be talking about SEO, showing you how to choose your topics and make them easily discoverable when people search for them in Google. All right, so now that you have all your, your content in place, you need to have a, a home for your content. And the home is your actual blog. Now, this blog needs to be a website but mainly focused on your content that you're publishing. So let's say you produce a video on YouTube, that video needs to be added onto your blog and then you can further explain you know, all the steps on about that video on your actual blog. Now, the reason why you want to be bringing people to your blog, in fact, I've mentioned this in the previous video, is to build a mailing list. So your home is very, very important. Your mailing list is the only thing that you can actually own because this is how you're going to be able to communicate with your audience. On Facebook, yes, you can communicate with them or on um, YouTube in the comments, but if something happens and you get banned or something happens with your channel, pretty much, you're done. But if you have a mailing list, you can continue communicating with all your subscribers via email. All right, so talking about the uh, the actual website itself, the home, <laughs> I like calling it the home. Uh, this is where you have total control. So you want to make sure that you build it using a really easy to use page builder. So there's quite a few page builders out there. You know, there's Breezy, there's Elementor, there's Divi. But if you watch all my videos now on my YouTube channel, or if you follow me, you know that I like using Divi. So Divi is very easy to use. And now the reason why you may want to use a page builder is because the layout of your blog needs to look really professional. It needs to look really clean because as the metaphor I'm using, the home needs to be clean, it needs to be tidy, it needs to have everything laid out neatly. This is what's gonna make people you know, come to your website and really feel like, oh, you know what, 
I can actually read and I can find all my information easy on this website. So using Divi, you know, is my go-to. So if you want to build your website using Divi, I have an affiliate link in the video description below. If you buy Divi using my link, I will give you access to a Divi course, which will teach you how to use Divi from beginner to expert. All right, so moving on. Now, let's say you've chosen your, your home, you've created your website, now you need to make sure everything looks really, really neat and professional. And this is by applying your branding. So your colors need to be consistent throughout your social media platforms, your website, even the slides that you use in your presentations. So you need to choose a color that works with your website. In fact, that works with your brand and who and who you are. That Those colors need to be pretty much the same across all social media platforms. Let's move on to the final thing, and this is publishing. Now, this is the most difficult, and to be honest, even I struggle with this. Publishing content is really, really hard. Sometimes I'm fired up, you know, for the first two, three weeks, and then it just dies down. I just get burnt out because it takes a long, a long time to put this content together, to really, you know, record the videos, edit them, and yeah. This is the part where you really want to make sure that you have it on point. You have to keep publishing. The reason why we're doing this is because you want people to know, like, and trust us. People buy from people. So if people know you, they trust you, it makes the sale much, much easier because the purpose of this blog is to actually either do affiliate marketing, sell your courses, or sell products or services. So it's important that you actually put your content out there as much as you can, and this will pay out most definitely. This is how I would get started in 2020. Definitely it has worked for me. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it in the video description below uh, on how my blog is now starting to get me more money. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, please leave your questions in the comments box below. Or if you have something else to add to this video, please do so in the video comments below. All right, guys, see you in the next one.